In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to gain weight, or bulk as say, on the carnivore diet. Most people go on carnivore and lose a lot of weight. However, there are some people with naturally large appetites or fast metabolisms who actually lose too much weight and become too skinny. So in today's video, I'm going to break down the five methods that you can use to gain weight. And if you are someone who is overweight and looking to lose weight, you can literally just do the opposite of everything I'm saying. A lot of people think that they can't gain weight on carnivore, that it's impossible. However, this is not the case. I myself have gained weight on carnivore during a bulking phase. Dr. Sean Baker's done the same. Mark Bell has also done the same. Weight gain is as simple as this. Excess energy is stored as fat or as muscle if you're doing some form of resistance training. That is quite literally what fat is. If you consume more energy than you burn, it's stored as fat and you gain weight. So I'm sure we all know this, but all gaining weight is, is essentially eating more food. And the number one limiting factor as to why people do not eat enough on the carnivore diet is due to appetite. Being on carnivore changes your hunger signaling in many different ways. For one, meat itself is incredibly satiating. It's incredibly high in protein and every single nutrient. So when you eat the same total amount of energy from meat as you would, say, other foods, you're a lot more full. As well as the fact that because you're not consuming carbohydrates, your hunger is also lower. You see, when you eat carbohydrates, your blood sugar levels spike, they come crashing back down below its baseline. And when you're in this state, your body thinks it's dying and it becomes ridiculously hungry. As well as the fact that this blood sugar spike also prevents a hormone known as leptin. Now how leptin works is it's essentially your body's way of saying to your brain, hey we're full, we no longer need to eat. So most people who think they're eating a lot of food actually aren't. They think they have very fast metabolisms, but in reality they're just not eating that much. If you eat enough food and therefore enough energy, you will gain weight. So let's talk about how we can increase our appetite. The first thing you can do, which is by far the most effective in my opinion, is include dairy in your diet. You see, dairy provides us with a lot of energy in comparison to how satiating or how full it makes us feel. I'm sure you know this yourself. You can eat lots of cheese, drink lots of milk, and not get very full. But if you have a good sized meal of meat, you're not hungry for hours afterwards. As well as the fact that it's also addictive. You see, dairy contains a compound known as beta casomorphin which essentially acts as an opioid-like substance in our body and makes us addicted to dairy. This is why so many people have such a hard time moderating dairy. It's quite literally designed to be addictive. Now, this is a bad thing if you're trying to lose weight, but if you're trying to gain weight or grow, as in what the purpose of dairy is for, remember, dairy is made by the cow for the growth of its infant. So in this circumstance, being addictive is a good thing. It means you'll come back and want more, and therefore you'll consume more energy, and in the case of a baby cow, you'll grow in general. But in the case of humans trying to gain weight, you'll gain weight. It also messes with our hunger signaling. I spoke a moment ago about how carbohydrates make us hungrier. Well, certain types of dairy, in particular milk, do contain carbohydrates. And as anyone who's tried to lose weight knows, drinking calories is a bad idea when it comes from a fat loss perspective. But seeing as we're trying to gain weight, in this instance, drinking calories is a good thing. Dairy is quite literally designed for the growth of a species. So if you're trying to grow in weight, it is definitely a good idea. However, I do want to warn you about dairy and the fact that it may not be incredibly healthy. The fact with dairy is it's designed for baby cows. It contains hormones like estrogen that may not be super ideal for human consumption, as well as the fact that pasteurized dairy, they heat it to these high temperatures, it denatures some of the proteins, and they become inflammatory to us. I find personally that if I drink pasteurized milk, my skin breaks out and it's just not ideal for me. Usually I advise against people eating butter by itself on carnivore, but if you're trying to gain weight, eating butter can actually be a pretty good option. It is incredibly easy to eat a lot of energy's worth of butter. It's quite possibly the worst thing you can do if you're trying to lose weight, but if you're trying to gain weight, it is a great idea. The next thing you can do is increase your meal frequency. Now this is more of a logical thing. If you increase the number of meals you're having from two per day to three per day, that is a 50% increase in energy, assuming your meal size stays the same. And if you go from three to four meals per day, that's a 33.3% increase in energy. So if you are usually someone who skips a meal, maybe you're maybe you usually fast, you don't have breakfast or, or you just only eat a couple of meals per day, I advise against this. Try to consciously eat more meals, even if you're not completely hungry. Another good way to get these extra meals in and therefore get extra energy in is to snack. I have a video on my channel where I show you how I make my personal favorite carnivore snack, which is biltong, but other great options are things like meatballs. Now, another thing you can do 
is to increase the amount of salt you're putting on your meals. You see, salt is incredibly addictive. Wild animals quite literally seek it out. You know those goats that climb up the cliffs that are like that? Everyone's like, what on earth are they doing? These goats are seeking out minerals. In fact, many wild animals seek out salt. It's incredibly addictive to us, and scientists know this. When it comes to the engineering of processed foods, there is something known as the bliss point, which essentially means it's the perfect ratio of salt, sugar, and fat, which makes us become addicted to the food. So by using this information and knowing that salt is highly addictive to us, if we put more salt on our food, we may be more inclined to want to eat, and therefore we consume more energy and we gain more weight. The next tip is to do exercise. When you exercise, a hormone known as ghrelin increases. Now, ghrelin is essentially what makes you feel hungry. A reason this increases is that, well, when you're exercising, your body needs more energy. During exercise, your muscles, at least to some degree, break down, and they need to be repaired through a process known as muscle protein synthesis. So as you can probably guess from the name, your body needs protein and therefore you become hungry, so you consume this protein. Now to increase muscle protein synthesis even further, the best thing you can do is resistance training, whether that be weights or body weight exercises like push-ups. It's also a good idea to do resistance training just in the sense that like, when you do gain weight, ideally, especially if you're a man, and I'm sure many women want to as well, is that you want the majority of this weight to be muscle. The final tip I'll give you is to switch things up. Some people have this sort of natural inclination to get bored of things more than others. So if you're eating the exact same meal every single day over and over, some people do get sick of that. Personally, I can eat a steak every single meal. I'm as happy as can be. I don't really want to eat anything else for 99.99% of the time. But if you are one of those individuals who does get sick of things, try switching up what you eat. It can even be you're eating the same type of animal, just in a different form of meat. Say if you typically eat steaks, maybe you have some ground beef for a while, maybe you have a different type of steak. If you usually eat chicken, maybe switch to beef for a bit. If you usually eat beef, maybe switch to lamb. One trick I like to use is the three meats trick. I highly advise people do this when they start the carnivore diet, just because it seems more familiar having a variety of different foods on your plate. And that trick is essentially, for every meal, have three different meats. One third of your plate can be ground beef, one third of your plate can be, I don't know, lamb, one third of your plate can be some sort of beef steak, I don't know, whatever you like. But by varying things up, you'll be more excited to eat and therefore you'll eat more and you'll consume more energy and then you'll gain weight. So in summary, consume more dairy, ideally raw dairy because of the pasteurization like we talked about. Increase your meal frequency, add more salt, exercise more and switch things up. There isn't really some magical thing you can do to gain weight. It is as simple as you need to eat more. But by doing these things, you'll increase your appetite. So therefore you consume more energy and gain the weight. For some individuals who have very small appetites genetically, this may mean you have to eat even if you're not hungry. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.